guys, welcome back. Today we are unboxing the BoxyCharm Premium Box for April. I was wondering if this thing would ever get here and it wasn't because of shipping delays. It was because it took forever for it to get shipped, for me to get a shipping notification. And I just got my shipping notification for my base box today. So I don't think it's ever been this late in the month when I've gotten a notification for a BoxyCharm box to ship. Hopefully it will be here next week and I can get that one posted as well. I'm so excited because I don't know a lot of what's going to be in here and I love that about a box. At first I thought this was my box with my Zoeva palette, but that's actually the base box, I think. So I didn't do my eyes yet, but I think there's a chance I could get a palette in here. There were three or four palettes that were in one of the variations, so I could be getting that one or I could be getting, I think a Glow Recipe or Pharmacy Honey night mask thing. So we are going to hop into this, but I don't, the only other thing I know is something that I picked. I think I picked a toner. So let's get into this box. I think I might need to get some scissors. While I'm opening this up, my stay home giveaway is going on. So just make sure you get entered into that and you get subscribed so you don't miss out on anything here on my channel. So we have got the card. The theme this month is festival vibes, which is, nobody's going to a festival right now, but still fun. So the first thing I have is my Peach and Lily The Good Acids Pore Toner. This is the product that I chose for my box. It is a gentle exfoliator, AHA and turmeric toner. So I think I could choose between, I don't really remember what the choices were to be quite honest. I think there was some kind of Becca highlighter, maybe a... I don't know, maybe an I don't know is what I think. So it says this pH balancing toner helps gently slough off dead skin cells and prep skin for the rest of the routine. AHAs help loosen dead skin cells so they can fall away, which helps maintain clean pores. This one I got to use as a replacement when I go through my entire Cosrx AHA toner because this is very similar to that. So I chose this one because it's something that I would repurchase a like product that cost $20. So to me, it was well worth it to pick it up as opposed to the other ones that I wasn't really that interested in. So that is the first product and that is a value of $39. To me, it's a value for my box of $20 because that's what the product actually cost that I use. And while we're on that topic, BoxyCharm Premium is a monthly subscription box. It's like the big sister to the BoxyCharm base box. So instead of $25, it is $35 a month, but it is worth, I want to say $175 is what it's supposed to be worth. It's always worth way more than that though. And you get at least six full-size products. And while I'm thinking about it, last month I was supposed to cancel BoxyCharm Premium and I never actually did it. And then I saw some spoilers for May. I don't know. It's going to depend on what choices for me. I may end up canceling it depending on what I think of this one. All right, the next product that I've got, an IGK Good Behavior your Spirulina Protein Smoothing Spray. Carotene-like treatment in a can, 24-hour frizz hold control, 450 heat protection. So it sounds like this is something that I would use before I blow dry. Mist over damp or dry hair, comb through, finish with a flat iron for best results. Okay, this is something that I do use all the time and I'm actually running out of my Joyco one. I have a Joyco, just an aerosol spray heat protectant for before I flat iron my hair. And it's so funny because I love the aerosol sprays of this because I spray this on dry hair and I feel like an aerosol spray gets it more evenly without it getting too heavy. So I am really excited about this product. Definitely something that I would go and repurchase. The typical one that I get is about $15 and this one is a $32 value. So in terms of the boxes value to me, this and this are already a $35 value of things that I would already purchase. So I've already made my money back. So that's a really good box for me. The next thing I have is a Levito Re Age Away Replenishing Cream. Okay, let's read about this. Made with 11 in a innovative organic plant actives, this anti-aging solution is clinically proven to diminish the appearance of dryness, wrinkles, and rough texture while deeply nourishing mature skin. So this is a $69 value. Instructions. Using circular motions, massage this 
moisture cream into slightly damp, freshly cleansed skins until absorbed. I'm trying to figure out what this is. I don't know. Did I say it was a $69 value? It's a cream, but is it put it on damp skin? But it sounds like it's a moisturizer. So I'm not really sure about that. This is a $0 value for me. In my box, I don't need any more skincare, and I actually changed my survey on BoxyCharm uh, about two months ago to put that I don't need as many skincare products. So I'm kind of surprised with my choice being a skincare product that I got another skincare product. I'm thinking that the other product was something that I really wanted, so I'm going to look it up. Okay, I'm looking right now at May's sneak peek. Um, it says, stay a BoxyCharm premium. Stay a premium boxy, <laughs> stay a premium charmer because you'll receive one of these and it's worth $255 and all of the things that I'm seeing are things that I would be disappointed if I got on my box. So, so far, that's not pushing me to stay a member. Oh and my gosh, the other product was a Natasha Denona blush which I actually have as a high priority on things that I want to get in my box. So now I'm super disappointed. That stinks. How much brighter would that Natasha Denona blush be than this Levito cream? Well, darn. All right, next thing that I got, a nude stick magnetic lip plush paint wear luxury k beauty and the multitasking color meets long wear performance magnetic lip plush paints are luxurious soft nudes in a feather light blurring matte velvety texture that is not drying and long wearing pressed in a monochromatic tones this is a value of 28 dollars oh that is super pretty i'm glad i tried that Okay, so that, that's really pretty. We'll see how it kind of dries down, which that's something else I changed in my survey was that I wanted less lip products because I felt like I was getting a lot of liquid lip products that I didn't want. So I moved that down to a low pri priority in my BoxyCharm box. So there we go. There's another one. The next product I got was another skincare product. So this is the Pharmacy Honey Potion Renewing Antioxidant Hydration Mac mask. I'm not mad about this product. I will use it. This is an intensely hydrating honey mask for a glowing complexion infused with powerful antioxidants. This warming mask leaves skin soft, supple, and plump with hydration. It is a $38 value. It says you use a spatula to scoop the mask and spread a generous layer to clean face. Massage for one to two minutes and then uh, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse off. Oh, it's one of those masks. So I never use those kinds of hydration masks that you put on and leave on. It's got a magnetic spatula, so that is pretty cool, but it doesn't really smell very good. I'm now not super excited about this product. I'll probably give it a try. And I know honey is supposed to be really good for your skin. I'm just not excited especially since i moved skincare down to not needing as much or like low priority to get i moved eyeshadows up as a priority to get and here i got another skincare product so that is three skincare products the next thing that i got are you kidding me is a mile high club volume and length mascara from wander beauty i do not like wander beauty mascaras at all i've tried two of them Maybe I'll watch a review on this to see if it's any good. This says one swipe is all you need for a sky high lashes and volumizing and lengthening mascara. Precise bristles grab and coat every lash for a flirty and fanned out effect while jet black pigment intensely saturates. Smudge proof, flake proof, and water resistant for all day wear. Okay, you know what? I don't mind having a water resistant mascara because I do use those when I go to the pool if I've done my makeup for the day. That was a disappointing box, you guys. Now I want to go through and see what I could have gotten because I feel like this could have been a really amazing box. So there were three other, so there were three eyeshadow palettes you could have got instead of this. I could have gotten the blush instead of this. I just feel like they gave me like all the opposites of what my survey says. Because I also put that I don't want mascaras anymore because I feel, I'm like on mascara overload. I hope my base box is way better than this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little eye look and try out this mascara to let you guys know what I think about it. And I'll be back to show you that. 
All right, I'm back with uh, some eyeshadow on. I just did a quick, simple look with my Luxie Beauty in Bloom collection that I just got last month. And I wanted something lighter on the top so we could really see how the mascara looks. Putting it on. I did go through and look at some videos of things other people have gotten in boxes because there weren't really a lot of spoilers on what different variations could be. So here is what the wand looks like. So it's a thinner, it's just a really thin, normal looking one. So we'll see how this goes on the list. So that's just one coat. I don't really feel like that's anything spectacular. Let me go ahead and put another coat on. All right, so I ended up putting three coats on. It's an okay mascara. It's nothing fabulous. I definitely have mascaras that are better than them and I would not, I would not say that's a $28 <laughs> mascara. And how do these brands get away charging that much? I mean, there are such good mascaras that cost less. Like, do people just really go out and buy the Wander Beauty mascara that costs $28? But I've never had luck with a Wander Beauty mascara. I also put another coat of this on. It is really comfortable and it's pretty, but I feel like I feel like it separates pretty quickly and starts losing pigment quickly. So also not worth $28. So my box has a retail value of $241. In my opinion, it is definitely not worth that amount. This month, it was an okay box. I wouldn't say this is my favorite box and I'm not even really excited about the box, but because of the products that are in there and the products I use in my daily life, it's definitely a box that is worth the $35. To if I were gonna give value to this box, these two have a $0 value to me in terms of the box. I don't need an additional mascara or lip product. I would not just go out and purchase one and these aren't really even that great. Uh, like I said, this one would have a $20 value to me because that's how much the Cosrx AHA BHA toner is. We didn't even look at that bottle. So here's what the bottle looks like. Ooh, it's glass, so fancy. Oh, and it's closed, so I will open that up when I use up my current one that I have. Uh, the current one I have was actually in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I was going to pick it up, but then I remembered that I had picked that for my choice product, so I didn't pick that one up. And the uh, thermal spray protector that I use every time I straighten my hair is about $15, so I'm at about a $35 value. And then I've got these two skincare products, and I'm... I'm just still really irritated that I had already picked a skincare product as my choice and then I got the two other skincare products that you could get in the box. I don't know why they wouldn't give me one of the makeup items. So you could have gotten this or three eyeshadow palettes or you could have gotten this and a Natasha Denona blush. So in my opinion, I feel like a box like BoxyCharm Premium that's supposed to be a variety of beauty products and when you've got a survey that's heavy on makeup products you shouldn't be getting three skincare products in a box. Uh, I'm not upset about getting this one. I don't need another moisturizer for like the next two years. I don't know, maybe I'll try it and it will take away every fine line that I have on my skin and I'll be happy I got it. But none of these really have value to me because I just don't need I just don't need them. And that's how I determine whether getting a subscription box is worth it to me. Would I actually go out and spend the amount of money that it costs on products? So in this case I would, and I have four additional products to use. I don't know, maybe I'll give the mascara to my sister or something. I don't have any kind of eye germs right now, so. That is the BoxyCharm Premium box for the month of April. I would love to know if you guys got something more exciting than me. If you are interested in BoxyCharm or BoxyCharm Premium, there is always a free gift with sign up. Ooh, Monday is choice for the Lux and Premium box for May, so it'll be interesting to see what the choice is. That may determine if I'm gonna cancel my BoxyCharm Premium, especially after being so disappointed, and I just don't need the, I just don't need it anymore. Why am I still getting it? All right, so right now when you join BoxyCharm, and it could change by when this goes up on Monday, it is either the Pure Midnight Masquerade Palette or the QMS Eye Cream. I would get the QSM Eye Cream if, if you're wondering which to get. I have tried the Pure Cosmetics Midnight Masquerade Palette. While it's a good quality, um, the overall color choices just don't, it's a hard palette to use together. I think I used it once and never picked it up again. All right, I think that, I think that is everything for this month's box. I got a little thrown off by the disappointment in this box, gotta be honest. I'm a really, really hoping that my base box has got 
some products I'm excited to get from it. So here's what I want to get, and then we'll see if I get it or not. I know I chose a Zoeva palette. I really want these gel eyeliners I've been seeing people have, and I really want the brushes. And if I get some junk instead of those, like another black eyeliner, I'm going to be irritated. <laughs> So that video should be coming towards the end of this week. I haven't received it yet, so I don't know what I'm getting, but now you know what I want to get. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you guys have an amazing week, are staying happy, healthy, and safe. Please do subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.